Prime Hospital. Um, my question is, Prime uh, Hospital, uh, it's a new hospital. It's brand, brand, brand new. A brand new hospital. This is our four, uh, fifth month, actually, of uh, yani, uh, full functioning. Welcome on board. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, my question is regarding like senses of junior physicians. Yani, it's fairly discussed. One area of confusion is uh, licenses like registrar physician, specialist under supervision. These areas are creating confusion. I came from uh, from Al Ain, from HAC regulation, so I'm used to, to these designations like general practitioner, specialist, and consultants, which were, uh, I think, easy and straightforward. I hear, I hear some uh, um, yani says in, in Dubai that we are going into this direction. I want to make sure from you whether we are really wants to uh, remove these designations like a specialist under supervision, registrar physicians, because it has many things to do with the privileges and with, with lots of things. So I, I, I need to know where the HS stands uh, in this regard. Thank you. As you know, we have unified the qualification requirement, the licensing requirement, uh, and we started it uh, 12th of October. And we were going to have the same uh, uh, titles from now on, so all the newcomers. They will not have such titles. They will have only three titles, which is GP, specialist, and consultant. And we are in the process of grandfathering these people and giving them a grace period in order for us to um, unify all the uh, titles in Dubai. So it will be like an in and above what we have. So even the renewal of the licenses, it will be the same process? Uh, it will be the same, but we, we will not downgrade everyone under supervision to a GP or, a special, or upgrade them to specialists. We we'll give them a grace period. Whoever is entitled to specialists, we're going to upgrade them. But whoever is not entitled to specialists and they are um, they should be downgraded, we're not going to do it immediately. We're going to give them until 2017 for them to correct their problems. Well, uh, education in the private sector. Uh, being uh, there are a lot of opportunities in the private sector to educate uh, a new graduate student in a subspeciality area or in general specialities. We saw a regulation in the website which we download and we start uh, implementing, but the feedback was still this not implemented. So we'd like to see what's the current status of, uh, of this uh, education in the private sector. Uh, specifically, there are a lot of uh, subspeciality area which we believe that we can within UAE we can uh, provide a specialist. Certainly. There is a lot of requirements in this, in this field in general in all specialty. But I'm sure there is a certain parameters that to be uh, provided you know, before we can say that this is uh, this or that educational uh, institution. I'm sure it's under uh, consideration by the uh, regulations. Um, yes, we did get a couple of uh, requests regarding this uh, issue and uh, we have to do it liaison with the uh, continuous medical education department and it has, of course, the, the topic which you're going to teach, it has to be approved from the Ministry of Higher Education as well. So we, are, we, we do have some requir uh, require, uh, applications and it's under process. I have three questions, different, uh, different uh, subjects. Now the first one is the, we have a problem with plastic technicians who <coughs> actually they, they, they used to work without a license before, they don't have a license, now they are required to have a license. There is no a training for plastic technicians in here as far as I you know. And most of them have been working for a long time and they are required to produce certificates which is years and years ago. Which they're not, uh, they're not uh, able to do that. Uh, now I want to know what is what is the uh, uh, situation with these plus technicians who cannot actually produce these certificates. They have been working for a long time, and I know for a fact that uh, plus technicians in the government hospitals actually have the same. They have the same problem. That's number one. Uh, number two, uh, I'm not quite sure if this is actually, this forum will discuss this, but we have a big problem, I'm sure, that other hospitals have with the end of life care and uh, the rules and regulation about this. Uh, in, in the best of things, actually, the, the rules are clear, but the details are not very clear. Uh, and I've actually uh, asked this in the Medical malpractice conference, which, uh, which actually uh, been held last week. Any particular area? 
Uh, you talk about the details, which is not true. Uh, the details, you see, the... Uh, oh, so the yes, I'll give you just an example. If you have a patient who is terminally ill, and this patient will say, please don't do anything, I just want to die. I know this is not an option, okay? On the other hand, you have a patient who wants to go home, and we are sure if he, this goes, he, he goes home, he's going to die. But we are allowed to do this, we are not allowed to do that. Uh, and both of them, I think, the same, there's the same boat. One we are allowed to, to listen to the patient, the other we are not allowed to listen to the patient. My former committee is among all of us, with the uh, other authorities related to the So I think we are just Okay, that's why I asked if this forum is there, but it is an important issue. Uh, the number three, did I say two? Number three. Okay, one, three. Now, number three, uh, recently we have quite huge fines slapped on us uh, because uh, one of the CCSD technicians was not actually licensed. Uh, it is more, more or less 200,000 uh, pounds. And I just want to know these licenses, uh, are you allowed really to, to appeal to that, number one. Uh, number two, uh, we, we already did whatever is supposed, we're supposed to do, but still we are not actually, uh, our appeal is not, uh, is not this one. Uh, it has to go to an appeal committee, and the appeal committee will look into it, and you will definitely get the answer. So nothing gets lost. Okay. okay. So inshallah, you will receive the answer shortly. Here, the European Association of Neurosurgical Societies, uh, the European uh, Board Diploma, and I mean in uh, the neurosurgery, and we started two years ago. This year was coming. And we are discussing now with the Saudi Council for our specialty to recognize the people who are involved in that, with that, uh, with that course. It is a cycle of four years, which is done in, since 30 years in Europe. It was, uh, it was five years, now it is four years, and mostly all the neurosurgeons in Europe they are going through it, and they call it European Board. Now we start it in Dubai, and the, and the next one will be in February. Again, uh, we uh, will see if it, uh, this board will be recognized here. Okay, it is like equivalence in Europe now between the countries. For sure, the uh, person who will go uh, through it, they they will uh, pass. Uh, they will go through an examination after that by the committee, uh, written examination. If he passes the written examination, he will go through oral examination by the board from uh, this uh, association. And if he passes, they will deliver to him the uh, degree from the European Association of Neurosurgical Society. That's one thing. And the Saudi Council of Specialties, most probably they will recognize it as a specialty again in neurosurgery. He, but the, the person who will go through it need to be a qualified neurosurgeon from his country. So this is one of the projects I will uh, present to you. And we started this cadaver workshop training again since now about four years in the Emirate. And education, to enhance the, you know, because the human capital is the main uh, issue here really, in general, wherever you go. But each you know, specialty will have certain requirements and you know, because you know, anything has to be, you will have the higher education at any specialty. Just one comment, please. This diploma you give is accepted from whom? Because when we ask here, they don't yes. allow private sector to give diploma certificate from whom? Uh, okay, can we? I mean, this is a very good initiative. That it's it's not made, private okay. sector. But, um, but uh, we can always discuss the detail of the program which you're having on individual level, and uh, we can give you the full support plus the medical education. Arabic sure. universities involved in that. Good commission. We have universities. Uh, exactly. We'll look at these programs individually.